congratulations to Team Love Me. Uh, I thought this was a pretty fantastic uh, screening. Sorry, I was very distracted by <laughs> I'm comfortable now. <laughs> I'm going to uh, ask a couple of questions first to start things off, and then um, I'll open it up to the audience. Can I first ask everybody to come up to that blue line, please? Something happening on the blue line? Perfect. Thank you. Um, my first question is for you, Sam and Andy. Um, you know, I met you over the summer and you told me a bit about this film, and I wasn't sure what I was going to see. And I guess I, I want, I'm now after having seen it, I do, I'm curious if you can tell us a little bit more about, one, how you conceived of this idea, and, and then your uh, creative choices, if you could explain a bit more about that and what we, how, we, how you decided to show the story visually. Idea about a buoy and a satellite communicating the two farthest things from each other, and we thought it was funny. Um, <laughs> so we like, uh, you know, kind of delved into sci-fi stuff, and you know, read all the books about sentience. And uh, it wasn't until one day that we realized that it was a love story that uh, the concept came into focus, and we were able to write the script. And I think for us to, I don't know if this exactly answers the question, but when we think about the film, for us it's not really a movie about AI, but it's a movie about us, like as seen through the lens of AI, sort of trying to unpack humanity circa 2024 and sort of, um, well, I guess it allowed us as artists to, to look at the, in the internet with innocent eyes and to sort of see everything fresh without all the, the lifetime of baggage that we usually bring to humanity. <laughs> And we got really excited about the, um, the different mediums that we could use through the process. Uh, we got really excited about you know, building robots, and we got really excited about using motion capture suits, and then animating Kristen and Steven's performances, and we got really excited about the live action and shooting on film, and it was just uh, a way to kind of explore all of the mediums that we're interested in. And there's an amazing version of the film, too, where these guys are in motion capture suits the entire time. Which is funny, which is equally valuable, I think, if not more. Great. Um, painful that that's not in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do want to ask about uh, how, how did you um, pitch the film to Kristen and, Stu and, um, and Stephen, and for Stephen and Kristen to ask ask you, you know, what drew you to this, to these roles? For, for us to start, I don't think we pitched a movie to either of you, we just shared the script, and it seemed like we were, we all wanted to make some interesting, cool art, I don't know, I felt like we were kindred creative spirits from day one, so no pitching involved, but I don't know what your experience is. <laughs> Always one step ahead. Um, yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't like a pitch. I guess it, we just read that script, and um, not to put you on the spot, but you were already attached, and I was like, oh, she's dope, <laughs> and that's kind of. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> felt like, um, like I put acting in quotes, it was like an acting exercise, just like the internet is, just like talking to you right now is, <clears throat> like, um, just like there was no character there, and so you could play like talking to everyone you've ever met, and then also like all your fears and your like insecurities and like even your ego and your arrogance, like all of it, you just sort of be like, like how embarrassing it is to have all of those fucking things and then like, show him all of that, not really know how it was going to be filtered to then you guys, I just knew that it was like, just such a cool way into all of our stories, like, 
like it could be a relationship movie. But it's just like also self love, but not in the way that that word. Like pick new words for that. Like when you actually like know and then go, oh, I think I've identified a thing and I enjoy that. Um, but like uh, then if five seconds later it's a different thing and you don't have to feel bad about that or feel like, oh, I didn't know myself. Maybe I'm different. I was like, no. It's, yeah, and, and then like now trying to be with a person to, yeah, it just was like, this is the most honest relationship movie slash just people movie. Wow. Wow, that was really, and thank God I'm here. <laughs> I, I think it was just also, we were really excited about like exploring self and presentational self. Like how we are, you know, in our bedrooms by ourselves and how we are when we're trying to control how everybody perceives us and thinks about us. Um, and that was like a major thing that we talked about a lot before we started the script. A lot of cringe. Yeah. <laughs> so much cringe. Yeah, we were the most embarrassed. Thing we've ever had. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll be like super. I think we are presentational to ourselves in our bedrooms. That's mm -hmm. the worst part. You know, like, oh, this is how I am. These two, though, every day on set just showed up and were willing to just be. I, I was in awe of how vulnerable you guys yeah. were. It was like the first time I read the script, I was like, oh, I'm nervous, like reading in front of you guys. And then you're like, yeah, that's great. That means you care. And it's like, we all show up. You guys are like, I watched this movie and I'm like, but, yeah, that's Sam reading Octopus. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We're reminiscing now. We'll take yeah. questions. Can you guys all leave so that we can talk? <laughs> Stop being weird. <laughs> How much time did you guys actually have mm -hmm. to, to shoot? We should pass to a producer. Yeah, it was three weeks three with three the weeks. actors. Yeah, and then we did all the other stuff. Yeah, it was yeah. three weeks with Kristen and Steven. And then we went off um, and shot the buoy and satellite for two weeks-ish. Yeah. And then, you know, five, you know, five years into the process. <laughs> and one other big note about the process, too. We were really protected by all of these producers. Kevin, Ben, Julie, Shivani, Luca. Because Kristen and Steven showed up on set. Had beautiful performances in these motion capture suits, but it took another year and a half to sort of translate that into animated form. And you know, hopefully, we got part of the way there. I uh, worked with a tremendous group of animators, Kickstart, uh, but we really needed the protection and a lot of time to sort of find the soul and the animation that was, you know, that representative enough of what you gave us on set. So thanks, guys. You're welcome. I want to give the audience an opportunity to ask questions. Question over here, off to the side. The question is about the title. Mm. Uh, no, we, we always wanted it to be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. The question is about uh, the in their influences. Yeah, the, the influences uh, for the science fiction part of the film. Um, I mean, we're, we're Doctor Who fans. Um, I think that the biggest uh, influence when it came to the, the science background for the piece is probably we started with um, Carl Sagan's Pale Blue Dot quote. And the opening of the film is sort of a direct visual reference for that. And if you guys don't know it, I'm sure everybody knows it, but it's when he asked Voyager to turn around and take a shot of Earth from just outside the solar, as it was leaving 
uh, the solar system. It was a big deal. Nobody wanted to do it. They didn't want to waste the fuel. And he said, no, you have to do it. Because it made us all feel really big and really small at the same time. And that was sort of the... That was the that was part of the creative genesis for a lot of the film, a lot of the science ideas within the film, and more of his writing as well. But I feel like that was our hope as artists, to sort of give you that sense of awe, where you feel both big and small at the same time. Right here. Uh, you can be anything you want to be. <laughs> And, you know, you can change, and you can evolve, and uh, I think the best life we all can live is one when we are loving ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the question is about the use of time. Well, the, the question is about um, time and how we played with the idea of time. Yeah, I mean, the, one of the first fun things about the movie to us was that it was going to take 10 billion years uh, for the Earth story to play out, but the love story in, at the heart of it all should feel sort of like new love, fleeting, explosive, fast, immediate. Um, and one other thing about that, our wonderful sound designer, Matt, brought to us the sound of the end. Matt Gray. He brought a sound uh, that plays over the opening credits of the movie. Uh, that's the sound, that's a simulated sound of the Big Bang by a researcher from Washington University. Yeah, uh, So, that expanded the time scale from 10 billion years to 13.7 billion years. Question there? Yeah, you guys Um, <clears throat> originally, we were not supposed to play the influencers um, that the satellite and buoy base themselves off of, and then merging that required like extra levels of like layers and abstraction, and so it was really fun and intense and all the feelings to like peel back layers between ourselves. And I appreciated Kristen the most about that experience because we didn't have to talk about it. It wasn't really thought out like today I'm gonna show up this way and like half guarded. It was just like, I'm gonna show up and we'll see what happens. And, um, it was really open that way. And so, um, yeah, I thought that, that's, kinda, that's kinda how I approached it. Like Deja and Liam are, are also living in their abstraction or their choices or whatever they wanted to do. And, um, yeah, it kind of touches all of it. I think we have time for one more. Yes, sir. Do Kristen and Stephen have a favorite scene? I really love when he's like, What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? I don't know if I have a favorite scene, I just kind of like see that whole thing as just like, whoa. Um, yeah, I just, I, I receive it all. We're <laughs> like, <laughs> The, the bravest, most vulnerable duo I've ever had the pleasure of working with. They just like, <laughs> they just like took risks. They weren't scared 
to be like ugly or messed up or like stupid. They just like did it, and it, it was it, it made for two beautifully open and emotive characters. What are you gonna do with all the stuff that really is like hideous and embarrassing? I have to again. Gonna burn the apartment. There's not enough in there. You really could have blown us up. There's none of it. There's none of it. But, the, but because you took that risk, all of it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming to watch the movie. Oh, hey, yeah. Can I, can I just one minute? Can, can everybody who worked on the movie stand up? Because there's a whole hell of a lot of them.